Welcome to another. I think it's lighting. I hope. Five minute water pairing. I'll play with the Tarash here. And, um, shall I take that? I know it's a tempo loss, but I want to isolate uh, Queen's Pawn. Or give him a bad bishop. He can choose now, bad bishop or. Okay. Queen C2. Knight G3. Bishop G5, Bishop H4, Bishop G5. Um. Bishop H4 to G3, I'm thinking. Has he got knight? He's got knight B4 on the cards. Got to get out of this. I could just. Could I just protect my queen with rook C1 for a moment? I hope. So night before, I think I take. Uh, it gives, gives me queen b1, so I can stand this diagonal to probe the h7 pawn. Okay, dangerous knight on f4, knight f4. Take on e7 here. It doesn't look as though he's got too many problems, unfortunately. I play bishop f1 later kick the knight or not. Let's see, bishop e4 is not totally terminal just yet. I might be threatening knight d6 if he's not at the castle. Um, I wonder if g3 is any good here. And bishop g2 after. Unless I'm missing a key forcing move. I think g3. Bishop G two. There's knight D six to think about. Immediately, I'm not sure what it does. H four, knight G five. H four for knight G five. At least there's no knife f4. <laughs> oh, I can't get that expression out of my head. Um, knight takes a knight g5. Might be interesting. Threatening h7. In the circumstances, how many choices are there? <clears throat> he's that bishop. He's really done wonders with the bishop. Um, if I snap it off, is it just equalish? So he does something about h7. Do I snap off c6? I'll play rook e1 or something. Rookie one keep some tension rookie one or not. Don't think I'm doing too much here. Maybe the knight going back for the dark square weaknesses is something. Hmm, not convinced. But anyway, I've got light square weaknesses. Um Oh, got him thinking weirdly, I don't know why, in this particular position. Uh, there's any big big deal problem for him. Queen C 
queen f5, bishop e4. Is that worth a punt? Let me take so I have rook f4 if I unpin. So queen e2 frets, then rook f4 for the first time in the game. I might have a fret up to queen e2. I might actually be threatening rook f4. If he's not moving that knight. Does that just win the knight? Oh no. Have I got g4? I have to save my knight now. I can't see too many moves here. <clears throat> Beggars can't be choosers, as you say. I, could, I mean, the knight, where is it going otherwise? So, uh, am I in trouble or not? Knight f3. Uh-huh. I've got a clock advantage of a minute, that could be handy. Um it's gone into a pin here. Is that advisable to go into a pin? Oh this C four. Can you find any resource here to save a piece? That's what it comes down to. I don't know. It looks as though that's initially winning a piece. Um. <clears throat> hopefully. Save the a pawn. <clears throat> Unpin or king f four might run into g five. Gotta be careful. Can I play g five? It's a knight d four. Rook h3. Might be worth. What about. See what it does about this d pawn. <clears throat> d4. There's always rook h3. Um. Yeah, I didn't want to lose a pawn. That's the thing. Uh, maybe f4 here. Because I'm thinking two connected pass pawns, and I like the look of that uh, in principle. Um. Check. Check. Hmm. There's a chat and win F7 here. Okay, yeah. Um, yeah. <coughs> he, 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 uh, let's see, what does the engine think about this? Structurally, oh. Uh, he's, what, what am I supposed to play then? As the engine says, I get nothing, <laughs> nothing from the opening. This one. Okay. Mm. Mm, queen F six. 
Oh, okay, that's better, isn't it? Does he win? Can he win that? What is this? Oh, crikey. Check. Oh, my God. Let me back in the game, then. That was a howler. Okay, comments, questions, uh, appreciated. Thanks very much.